Hello, I'm Adam Barillet of Crystal Connections and welcome to this video where we're exploring the angel Jophiel. Jophiel's name means beauty of God and this is principally what this angel governs, everything to do with beauty. The angel has a more yin or feminine energy, but don't think that she's kind of this weak or light and fluffy angel. She also governs wisdom, understanding and judgment. She was the angel with her sword that escorted Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden once that they had kind of done the wrong thing. But she still has this beautiful heavenly energy and opens our eyes up to all the beauty in the world. And in this video, I'm going to explore with you different ways that you can invite Jophiel into your life and when she might be relevant to help you out as well. Jophiel, as the angel of beauty, helps you to see all the beauty in the world around you. There are beautiful things to see each and every day. Are you seeing them? Jophiel will help you to do that. But more importantly, Jophiel helps you see the beauty within you. And when you have low self-esteem or beating yourself up or not feeling your absolute best, Jophiel's energy inspires and ignites that light within you. She resonates with the colours of yellow and gold, and so she really brings out that kind of shining solar energy. Jophiel is great for helping and supporting any artistic endeavours, whether that be one that you're watching and she helps you get the full enjoyment out of it, or if you're involved in creating something artistic, Jophiel will help it to make it more beautiful. The other thing I love about Jophiel, she's sometimes nicknamed the Feng Shui Angel. She helps to make spaces beautiful, not just for aesthetics, um, but that is one way to enjoy them, but also so that we can actually enjoy our life a little bit more. I'm sure you've all had a messy house at one stage. <laughs> if you look around now, you're kind of not, you're, that's why you're watching YouTube and not looking at your messy house. But when we get everything neat and tidy and in order, we can actually be a bit more present and we can actually enjoy things and get things um, achieved more often. And so as we get a place feeling beautiful, looking beautiful, and the energy flowing right, the energy in your life starts to flow right as well. Jophiel is also here to help clean up pollution around the world. So whenever you're doing any work for maybe cleaning the oceans or cleaning the air from air pollution or whatever it may be, Jophiel's main mission or global mission is to make this earth as beautiful as possible. And so this is where we'd call on her whenever more beauty is needed. It is great to call on Jophiel whenever you're feeling downtrodden or even ugly. She allows you to ignite that light within you and to find your value. Work with her by asking her to show you different signs and to unveil to you how you are beautiful and what you have to offer to the world. She's also absolutely amazing to work with when you feel like you're in an ugly situation. Jophiel doesn't help you just pick out hotties in a crowd. She helps you to see the beauty in absolutely everything. Sometimes we get depressed because things are not going right. She helps you to see the silver lining on every cloud, the stars in the darkness, and that type of thing. So whenever you're feeling pessimistic, she will bring in a buoyant optimism and boost your attitude and allow you to see that life is actually beautiful. And, you know, the universe works in beautiful ways, hence her name, Beauty of God. So whenever you need that uplift, she's absolutely great. Just ask, the, the, any of the angels will work with you, but only if you ask, because as a human, our soul has free will to do what we want. So if we don't ask the angels in, they can't help us. So ask Jophiel, Jophiel, help me to see the beauty in this situation. Help me to see what's right about this situation. Help me to see what the advantage of the situation is. And Jophiel, help me to see what's beautiful about myself. You can also use Jophiel too, if you need to kind of feel a bit more impressive, a bit more glamorous and that type of thing. Jophiel, help my light to shine brightly. Allow me to shine amongst these people tonight at the party, at the gathering, at the meeting, at the interview, and those types of things as well. Now, when you know Jophiel's around is when you're inspired by beauty. Whether it be an artistic endeavor or just a beautiful scenery or something like that, it's her, her energy around you. Remember that we are not separated from the angels. So the angels don't necessarily just talk to us or come to us in visions. They talk to us from the inside. And when you feel inspired by beauty, Think of something that you know in the world that's beautiful. Maybe a person, it may be an art piece, it may be a car. That's Jophiel at work, reminding us that this is a beautiful life that we're living right now. Other signs that she may use 
uh, the color yellow, that's her key color, or flashes of yellow or golden light. If you suddenly notice that, then that could be Drophiel. She will, in modern times, has been using the animal of the hyena as one of her signs as well. Now you may be going, why on earth would she choose such an ugly animal as one of her signs? And that's that lesson. She helps us to see the beauty in the ugly, to see the beauty in everything. Hyenas are very instrumental in their ecosystem. They clean up uh, carcasses to stop the spread of disease. They play important roles, just like us. Even when we're feeling ugly, even the hyena has a role. Even we have a role as well. So Joffiel will help us to see that. Another great way to work with the angels is to dedicate a crystal to them and then carry that crystal or to hold that crystal or wear that crystal and each time you need to connect with their lesson. So with Joffiel, when we need to feel beauty or see beauty, hold that crystal and go, Joffiel, let me see the beauty. What's right about this? Or help me to shine a little bit more beautifully. So initiated crystals, some real basic ones that you can work with are things like citrine or lemon quartz, which is a kind of a paler citrine, or this, this is called golden or yellow fluorite. Now, I'm not sure, hopefully you can kind of see in the screen, but fluorite grows in squares. And remember I was talking about Joffiel helping us to get everything in order so that we can see the beauty of life and the beauty of the life experience? Yellow fluorite can be really great for that. So pick a beautiful yellow or golden crystal and dedicate that to Joffiel whenever you need to see the beauty. Now, if you want to kind of go up to a bit of a rarer crystal, but one that I love for many of the angels and always comes from Joffiel, it's called celestite. Celestite is, for me, the crystal of beauty. It allows us to ignite the beauty within us so that we can shine and be that celestial being in all our glory and to see the beauty in the ugly as well. So I really like this one. It's great for connecting to any angel you like, but when I'm working with Joffiel, for some reason, celestite comes up for me as well. So pick a yellow crystal or pick this one, dedicate it to Joffiel and allow her to help you shine beautifully and see the beauty outside of you as well. Because if we can't see it within us, we'll never put properly see it outside of ourselves as well. Now, if you'd like to know a bit more about those two crystals or the crystals that I talked about then, on my other uh, videos on my channel, I explore a bit deeper into those as well and can find out a little bit more. I want to share with you my Joffiel essential oil blend. So it's got three different oils in it. Now, the first one is Kananga. Kananga is a bit of a rarer oil and you can substitute it for Ylang Ylang. They're of the same tree, just they grow in different places. But I find Kananga has a bit more of a calming, peaceful energy about it because it has more beta carophylline in it, so it calms us a bit more. And it has a real childlike kind of glee energy about it. And you know how kids just love and get excited about things? That's a bit of the energy of Joffy as well, seeing the beauty, seeing the excitement, that optimistic attitude. And Kananga really helps to awaken that inner child within us and see that beauty that hasn't been um, tainted by experience or, or harsh times or suffering or things like that. So we have a bit of Kananga, the next one is grapefruit. Now grapefruit helps us to honor our body and to respect our body and to be grateful for our body. It's great, I love it for helping to, when I use grapefruit, I feel like I'm detoxing my body. It's really great in that type of way. But on an emotional level or a metaphysical level, it's about honoring the body temple and realizing that this body that we have is a gift and that we are here to experience life through this vehicle that is our body. So really important with that Joffiel energy as well of honoring the body. And then the final oil I like to mix in with this trio is good old rose. Is there a more beautiful flower in the world? I would debate that there isn't kind of thing. So rose has that divine energy. It helps to open us up. It also, roses very much allows us to drop into or f rise up into unconditional love, where we love something for what it is, not for what we want it to be. You know, a lot of the time we say, oh, I love my partner unconditionally, but we do put expectations on them and get upset when they don't do that. Rose allows you to rise above that. So you've got Kananga that has that childlike optimism and joy. You've got grapefruit that helps you honor your beauty, your physical beauty and the um, what it enables you to do in this life. And you've got Rose which helps you drop conditions and expectations and embrace things for what they truly are. Try blending those three oils together, play around with them, hold them all under your nose at the same level and do a little circles. Um, and then whichever one you like more, less of, bring it down. And the ones we like more of, bring them up. And then that can be how many drops to put. Now you can pop it in a diffuser, can mix it with the carrier oil and anoint yourself in it, or make it into a roller. And with your crystal and that oil blend, you can call on Joffiel. So Joffiel is absolutely amazing for reminding us of the beauty of this life. 
Would it be seeing the beauty in a situation? Or whether you're just like, life sucks at the moment. And if we're all going through some tough times with the COVID-19 pandemic, but there are beautiful things happening around the world. And Joffiel, we hope to see that. Joffiel may be doing her work right now with the pandemic because she's cleaning up the environment as humans travel less and interfere less with the natural environment. Who knows what the angels have for us, but remember that everything has a plan and the angels know it. When we align with them, we'll become clearer on that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And of course, if you'd like to know more about these crystals or the oils I've talked about, I've got videos on each one of them on my YouTube channel as well. Take care. The angels are with you and may Joffiel show you the beauty of the world. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.